Uh, forever a beginner. Thank you for five euros. I got a cheap IMAX B6 charger. Is it safe to use? Yeah, probably. Those things are, I mean, they're not the latest and greatest, but they're fine lipo chargers. And they, uh, they are as safe to use as any. Like, you should still take appropriate safety precautions. But, it, it, you know, there's no reason to suspect that charger just because of its age and its brand. Um, I, what? Yeah, Blinty. I will say that the B3s were faked. So I'm not sure if they were fake B6s. But you should make sure it's a real IMAX charger and not a fake IMAX charger. How can you do that? Oh, well, like, for instance, on the one I got from Amazon that blew up when I was charging a battery with it, the B3, uh, it did not have a registered trademark logo on it. Hmm. Okay. So it was the same logo, but it didn't have a little registered symbol. And then I looked up real ones, and I was like, oh, they all have registered symbols. Yeah, I guess the question is, when you say you got a cheap B6 charger, do you mean you got a B6 charger and compared to other chargers, it was cheap? Or do you mean you got a B6 charger and compared to other B6 chargers, it was suspiciously cheap, Right. And if it's a if it's a knockoff clone, then yeah, then maybe you should be suspicious of it. Regardless, you should be charging in such a way that if the battery lights on fire, that is not a catastrophe for, for you that destroys your home. Um, I will say, uh, you know, you guys. Uh, uh, well, every two or three months, let's say. I'm just making that number up, but I'm guessing every two or three months, somebody reaches out to me and says, hey, I had a lipo fire and it burned my house down. Uh, this happened to a guy that I've known on the Internet for several years uh, last week. And he said I was charging. Uh, I was, you know, working on a quadcopter at the bench. There was a uh, battery charging behind me and I heard it go off. And I turned around and I grabbed my fire extinguisher and I tried to put the fire out and my fire extinguisher was not charged up. It, 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 you know, you're supposed to check your fire extinguishers every once in a while. Well, his was not charged up. And uh, so then he grabbed a blanket to try and smother the flames. And he said, right as I right as I covered the first battery up, the second battery went lit off. And so now and, and just the whole room went up in flames. And he just grabbed what he could grab and got out of the house and the whole house burned down and he's literally lost everything. I mean, except fortunately, no, no, no one, everyone got out of the house. And so, you know, thankfully no one lost their life. No one was, as far as I know, burned or injured, but his whole house is and everything in it is gone. Except he said, I grabbed my rifle case. <laughs> he was like, Hey, there's two things. I don't remember what the second thing is. He said he grabbed but he like he grabbed his rifle case and he grabbed something else and he ran out of the house and that was the end of it. Just for um, reference, to yeah. like the fail state on my B three was that it yeah. just kept dumping voltage into one of the cells. Yeah, that'll that's bad. That'll light a fire. So that'll I came, I I charged unattended because I was brand new and I was being an idiot. And I came back and the one cell was five point five volts and the pack was hugely swollen. Yes, yeah, uh, that's when I learned my lesson. Yeah, so follow, learn proper safety precautions and follow them. And then if your charger is effed up and fails, when the battery lights on, you will catch the battery before it lights on fire or when it lights on fire, it will not destroy your whole life. But the thing is that if you have what you believe to be the best LiPo charger in the world, there's still seven other ways that a LiPo could light on fire. So... Yeah, you want to have a good charger, but whether you've got a good charger or not, you still need to be following safety precautions. And if you're following safety precautions, then the cost of a bad charger will be a dead battery and nothing more, which in the grand scheme of things is not that big a deal. But if you're not following safety precautions, then then you then you better you better you be, you can walk you can you can walk a tightrope without a safety line uh, all you want as long as you never slip and most people are going to slip eventually so when you b break safety precautions you better not slip and you so yeah 